Hi everyone, welcome. I have a book flip. I found this book at Walmart this evening. It was around $11 and I really liked the images inside and I'm excited to try these. So I decided to go ahead and get my flip up so I could get started in it. This is Dimensions by Francis Gautier and it's a 3D inspired coloring book. So here is the back side. Packed with stunning illustrations that leap off the page, including an astronaut floating through space, sea monster, all that good stuff. Here is the side, a nice bright pink for your bookshelf so it'll stand out. Let's take a look. So here is your first page. And it is the nice, it's not quite cardstock, but pretty close. It's very thick paper. It is double sided and they are not perforated pages. Um, I want to say that this paper is a little bit off-white. Um, so there is that, and it is a smaller size book. So if we take the Teresa book, we can see that it is just a little bit smaller. So now we take a look at the inside. So here's your colored, colored, um, colored by page. Cover designed by John Bigwood, edited by Susan Bailey, and designed by Jade Moore. So I'm going to pull you in a little closer. All right, and here we go. So here's your introduction. Here is Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram and all that if you're interested in tracking them down and seeing their other books. Copyright 2020. So this one I thought was super neat. It would be fun to do like the butterflies as galaxy butterflies, being she's an astronaut. I think this one is the cover image yes so I like that they have kind of the shading in for you that comes in handy tiger coming out of the building there this one is just geometric shapes these ones aren't my favorite but I think with the right color palette and design they could be fun to do um, they are a little repetitive like mandala, which I don't love, but there's another neat one. So you could get darker as each one of these as you worked your way back to kind of give it that 3D feel. It's a little puppet. And again, I like how they have the shadows built in. It gives it a nice dramatic effect. I thought this one was neat. It's kind of like if you were inside the tree looking out instead of looking in the tree. I feel like if I were an owl and I was looking out, this is what I would see. So that is a fun one also. Alright, sorry about that. Got some noisy kids in the background. Thought I could sneak this in real quick. Here's a fun one. birds if you're into birds this would be fun to do in some like native style colors some tribal chess this would be a fun one to try to play on the reds and blacks or black and whites type thing mandala for those of you that are into mandalas and the bottom half is shaded so it will pop Another nice little geometric pattern type. Really like this one too. Not sure how I would accomplish it, but it is a neat style. Some instruments. I'm not really loving this type of page, but there's only a couple of them in here, so I figured I could deal with it. I think this one could be pretty done in like teals and oranges. This one. This one. I think this would be one of the first ones I do. I really like bees and honeycombs and I think with the shading this will be awesome. nice architecture one if you are into buildings and streets if you're looking down the street there sun and moon packed as you're hot and cold I 
interesting one. I like that he's broken. This would be a fun one to do for the 4th of July. I've got Lady Liberty here. Another one of the mandala type patterns. I like how these guys are flying out of the paint. So this could all be paint splashing if you wanted. Deck of cards. This one. I love this one. I love, love, love it. I don't know how I would do it, but it is very neat. Very neat concept. Sorry about the camera wiggling. The wind is blowing. We won't be too bad. I only have a couple pages left here. There's the little Russian dolls again. Those are starting to pop up everywhere. This one is a lot of crazy patterns. A neat interpretation. There are origami birds and they are on the water. Got a little rainbow going on in the background there. I love the little bamboo trees on this one. Be a fun one to try and do also. I'd have to google one for inspiration. Not sure on, oops sorry, not sure on this one. I'm just bumping everything everywhere. But I do like the roses on this one as well. There's another one with the blacked out background. It's already blacked out for you. Make your colors pop. Very neat. I thought this was a record player at first. I'm not sure. You see the one, like they're pennies? I'm not sure. Maybe it's pinball? Maybe pinball. Okay, another geometric type mandala e design. This would be funny to do it kind of like colored like gems. This is one of my favorites too. This might be one of the ones I start with. This one or the bee. Water dragon. This would be a fun one to do. So many different things you could do with it. You could do dark to light. You could do summer fall colors. We have a pretty globe with a nice background. We have a knight here on his horse. This is an awesome one as well. Let's try doing this one. And a beautiful house. And I think this is the images I like. I like the scenery house building type scenes. So that is exciting to me. Here's a key lock. This would be done, could be done in pretty golds or coppers. Be very neat. Looks like the front of a train coming out of a tunnel. Got your little brick wall here. Again, the shading is done for you, which is helpful. And then we have this guy without the patterned background on the back page. So there is that book. That is Dimensions by Francis Gautier. Questions, comments, leave them down below. I will look this up on Amazon and try to link it if it's available. If not, check your local Walmart. That's where I found mine. And I thank you for watching and hope to see you next video.